This is going to be a video about how to put together an inexpensive collection of periodic table elements and uh, where to find them in everyday objects. First of all, uh, for an element sample, aluminum foil. Aluminum is an element and uh, it's one of the most uh, inexpensive samples you can get. For copper, you can get uh, either a piece of copper wire or a copper pipe fitting or a older penny, a pre-1980 penny or so. I'm not sure exactly what year they switched over, but uh, it was uh, around 1980. Modern pennies are actually made mostly of zinc. Uh, older pennies are made of, of 90 some percent copper but uh, newer pennies are only like 2% copper. Now sulfur you can get at the uh, drugstore um, in a powder form like I have in this tube. You can also get uh, pencil lead which pencil lead is mostly carbon. It's a carbon with some kind of a binder to hold it together but uh, pencil lead will serve you as a carbon sample. Now a light bulb is an interesting thing to get as far as element collecting is concerned. Not only is the filament uh, tungsten, which is an element, but the uh, gas used to fill the light bulb is usually argon, which is another element. Argon is one of the noble gases. Now speaking of noble gases and light bulbs, you can get two more of them by looking at flashlight bulbs. Uh, this is a Krypton bulb here. You have to read the label on the package. But Krypton bulb uh, is filled with uh, Krypton gas. And this is a Xenon flashlight bulb, which uh, is filled with Xenon gas. So that's two more noble gases from light bulbs. Now, for lead, you can either get yourself some uh, a can of lead air gun pellets. I got some air gun pellets in this tube. Or you can get yourself some lead fishing sinkers for a lead sample. Now, for iron, you can get yourself a piece of uh, steel. Uh, now, stainless steel contains uh, a high percent percentage of chromium, between uh, ten and a half and twenty-six percent chromium. But uh, carbon steel is, uh, I think, about uh, 98 or 99 percent iron so a piece of uh, black steel pipe like this will uh, serve as a sample for the element iron. Now chromium, you're unlikely to find a pure chunk of chromium in the store. The only place you can get a pure chunk of chromium is to go to a place like uh, Metallium or look on eBay or something like that. But you will find chrome plated items like this doorknob which has a plating of chromium metal on it. Now the plating is uh, uh, considerably high uh, purity chromium but the, the base metal on this uh, particular knob is brass. But that is an example of uh, some inexpensive uh, element samples to collect and uh, to start a element collection.